Four hits here in the Coral Gables Regional for CJ. As he takes Lowen away for a ball one for the Canes. And Witt says not tonight. A one, two, three, top of the first. We keep attacking. Line, left field. Viegas, both teams, one, two, three in the first. To that win and helping up that bullpen as well. Yeah, they win tonight and they'll look back on that performance. History being made. Blake Sear was hit. First pitch he saw from Tanner Witt. Out. And Levinson was hit. First two aboard for the Hurricanes. This one has a chance. Deep right field. Campbell going back. Miami three, Texas nothing. Dom Patelli, you wanted him to bunt. I said, let him swing. And that is why I said 13th home run of the season. He knew he got it right away. Ball sails over the fence. And he offered. This one lined into right field. It'll get down for a knock. And the first base runner for the Horns is Jack O'Dowd. And he'll draw the walk. First issued by Gallo. Failed to win a single game this postseason. Thomas yanks this one down the right field line. That's a fair ball. Coming around third is Jack O'Dowd. He's going to score. That'll make it 3-1. to one. And the Horns now with two in scoring position. Jared Thomas comes up big. Prior to this, he was 196 with runners in scoring position, and that doesn't matter. He rips this double postseason play. And there it is, through the four hole. That'll drive in one run. Right behind him is Thomas after Daly scored, and we're tied at three. And this is how the game of baseball works. Peyton Powell, you said it. He's due, and boy, did he deliver. A base hit in the four hole, dies in scoring position, and all of a sudden, it's a new ball game. And the 2 1. Flare into left field, that'll get down. 38 game in a row hitting streak. Powell now at second. Runners go, and this a hot shot past Morales at third. Coming home to score is Powell. Horns have the advantage. Right behind him is Campbell. And it's five to three. And walked on four straight. And now the Longhorns have him loaded. So the winner here has a chance to do some major damage. And Flores to straightaway center. Long goes back. How about a grand slam? His second hit of the weekend, and it's enormous. My Flores gets a breaking ball up in the zone. Cement mixer is what we call it. It doesn't do much. And 0 2 to Mitchell Daly. Through the six hole again for a knock. Daly's now walk and singled in this inning. Fly ball center field, Jacoby Long. Going to catch up to it. It's not crazy to say that you can't come back from that. And Daly boots it. Kafis aboard on the E6. And a little dribbler off the glove of O'Dowd into right field. And the Canes starting to cook with runners at first and second. All of a sudden a big moment. Up the middle. 
Could be two. O'Dowd over to first. Double play. That'll get through for a knock. And Blake Sear aboard for the second time tonight. And Brown fumbled it for a moment. Sear goes back to first, trailing by six. That hit by pitch. Wasn't happy about it. This is chopped over to shortstop, and Daly will get the force out at second. And that's it. They're in the top of the sixth. And Patelli. Line drive to center field. Kennedy is right there. Wee hours of the morning. That'll sneak through. Gonzalez. First hit of the weekend. Now runners, it's first and second. Big pitch from Hurley. Swung on and miss. And Hurley escapes. I'm sorry to say that is not what you wanted to experience on air. Oh. <laughs> In the meantime, the Horns get the leadoff man aboard. On the E1. And the error was also committed in the booth. <laughs> was a bit chunky. <laughs> this one bunted over to first. And the force out at second. Thomas now standing at first base. <laughs> Some would say that silence has been our best work. <laughs> Runner goes again. Ball four to Campbell. And the horns with runners at first and second. He walked him on four straight, if you will. Or three straight. Base is loaded. Excuse me, swing. And let's see what that exactly hit. Oh. They're going to say it hit him. That's going to bring home a run. I thought that was a swing when I just threw my eyes right now. It looked like he swung at that pitch and hit it with his hand. And I think that's why Gino is coming out. And you mentioned this weekend. You look at Capus, you don't necessarily think of him as a first baseman. He was hit by a pitch. Heads to first. Runner goes, and the pitch is low for ball four. Yuandi Morales, first team all ACC. There's a shot to left field. Two home runs earlier today, one more tonight. And here come the Hurricanes. Twentieth home run of the year for Yo-Yo Morales. Boy, all you can say is wow with Yo-Yo Morales. My goodness, what a regional. The fourth home run he's hit in this regional. A big three-run homer here in the top of the seventh inning. Just quite impressive what he has. The punch out in the second out of the inning. Arizona and Ole Miss. Rebels went on to win a national championship. And Morehouse, quality work out of the bullpen again. We feel a lot better after the really good milkshakes here at the lights. O'Dowd singles the left. O'Dowd with his second hit of the game. Could be trouble. Patelli over to second and the quick turn. And for Miami, they get the double play. And it was just fastballs after fastballs. And then here, just breaking ball, breaking ball, pitching backwards, breaking ball in. And Gonzalez strikes out. Two away. It's a nine run third inning. Bulk of the damage for the Horns. And Long's aboard. Right over the glove of Thomas. In regional play. Perez bunts it back to Morehouse to retire the side. Morehouse strikes him out. And a good start for the Horns in the ninth. Payoff pitch on the way. Inside for ball four. That's a good take by Villegas. He throws him the breaking ball. The 3 2 on the way. Struck him out. There it is. Hook him horns. Texas.
Texas to the Supers. Congratulations to Texas Longhorns. They're advancing to the Super Regionals, winning here in Coral Gables over Miami in a 10-6 victory.